Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will give a complete Hunter build in Red Nero X Generation. So, actually, Hunter is one of the most easiest class to build in Red Nero because it's very easy to be used and you can survive well enough with a blue equipment. Hunter is a free-to-play friendly class. So, whether you don't have much time to farm or you only play Ragnarok in your casual time, it's fine. You can go to the late game with good equipment faster than any other class because the investment is quite cheap compared with other class. Without further ado, let's go to the showcase first. In this dummy training, I will give a showcase with 3 monsters so you can see how much damage you can achieve as a free to play player in level 60. Okay, so in this dummy training, I will start with Mardu first. Alright, as you can see, I can achieve around 5k to 8k per hit. And by double strength skill, it can reach around 16k. And focus shot can reach around 26k damage. And if I look at the side status, it says I can deal around 18k to 20k per second. That's a really good damage per tick. So, obviously, this is an optimal point yet. In late game, you may achieve 30k to 40k per hit depending on your build. And, I also will look for the crit stats in the late game, so it may cause critical for each hit. Now let's try the other monster. I will add the highest level monster I can get. Mm, Mars, I think. Okay, so I think Mars have a more poor defense. That's why the damage is more consistent on 8k per hit. And the double strength damage itself is quite big compared with the Marduk before. This damage is so good and I haven't unlocked my Shadow equipment yet. So, if I have unlocked it, it will give much more boost to my stats. Let's see the weapon. So, yep, I can achieve this damage thanks to this bow. I have invested a lot on this. It's on level 65 upgrade, so obviously it gives a lot of physical attack and attack speed. Another thing that you need to pay attention is the arrow that you can use. You can use elemental arrow. So, depending on which enemies you want to farm, or which boss you want to kill, try to get their witness elemental, and it will give you bigger damage. Last one is Fitata. I think the result will almost same, just slightly different by 100 damage. So, how about it? Great, isn't it? And be reminded, I haven't unlocked my Shadow equipment yet. If I already unlock it, it will deal a lot of damage, even without the strongest weapon and cards. Okay, now let's see the build that produced the damage before. I will start with the stats. For the stat point, I spend all of my points on dex until 80. And then, after dex reaches 80, you can choose other stat depending on your situation. Additional luck will be a good because it provides a critical in late game. But 
I may spend a few on fit also to give more HP and endurance. Now, let's talk about the equipment. For the weapon, I highly recommend you to use the blue weapon as soon as you already unlock the sever instance, craft the longbow, and make your way through the higher level weapon as soon as possible because you will get a lot of base physical attack and attack speed. The upgrading is also nice, it will increase your physical attack and attack speed and by level 65 you can get the 575 physical attack and 200 more attack speed. The refinement will give a huge benefit because it will give you final attack speed and attack percent bonus. This may cost you a lot of investment, but believe me, it's worth. By level 4, you will get 150% final attack speed and 60% attack bonus. The enhancement will increase your agility so you may have an increased attack speed and flee rate. For the cuts on the weapon, although I'm not getting any good cut yet, but for early mid game, I highly recommend you to get the skeleton workers cut because each of the cut will give you a crit by 120 and by using 2 piece, you can get a total of 240 crit. This will make you have a good critical hit almost every single time. The last slot, you can go for Andre cut or Phaedon cut or Scorpion and Golem cut if you feel your attack speed is not quite enough. So this is for early until mid game, but in late game, you may want to change the card with the elemental attribute card. Why? Because in late game, the elemental damage will have a huge benefit, and your skill can work well with the elemental arrow, where I will cover later in the skill part. So, for elemental cards, you will need to decide which elemental attribute is best for you. There are few card options available, such as Snake card, which give you a ghost and poison enhancement. Bigfoot cut, which give you a holy and neutral attribute. Requiem cut, which give you earth and fire attribute. Water or wind attribute, you can go for Arcrow's cut. From these four type of cut, I believe the most good one is fire attribute, because it can match most endgame enemies and it really sing well with the skill that I will cover later on the skill part. So. By using 3 pieces of this card, you can get a total bonus of 30% enhancement damage. Another card I may want to use in late game other than elemental enhancement is Mistress card, which give a final crit by 12%. But I think I will only look on this card if I already have a very good crit bonus from Talisman, else this 12% won't give much benefit rather than the elemental enhancement. For the armor, most of them, you may want to go for the blue equipment first, but you can change it later in endgame depending on your situation. But the most logical choice is always go for Valkyrie set or Odin set. This is applied to clothes, shoes, and your cloak. For the accessory, currently I will go for white accessory, Krieger Feathering, which give physical penetration and physical damage bonus. Equip these two pieces. And for Talisman, I use Nostalgic Ornament, it gives a good physical attack bonus. Later in endgame, because our weapon cut is changed with a elemental attribute, so you may want to look for Nipper Earrings. This is the best accessory for Hunter, because it will give you a lot of physical penetration and physical damage bonus. For the Talisman, because you are going for the critical, you must have the Astro statue as your endgame talisman. It gives you a base 450 crit, and you will get a bunch of crit and crit bonus when you upgrading it. So, with this talisman, that's why you can release your skeleton worker card on the weapon to trade it with elemental damage bonus on your weapon card. Now, let's talk about the skill. For archer skill, you need to max out the double strafe. Charge Arrow, All Eye, Fulcher Eye, and Elemental Sower. So if you see this Elemental Sower, it will give you an additional damage of 20% by using Exploding Arrows and can ignite target for 5 seconds. So if in late game we are using the 3 requirement cut on weapon, it will give the total of 50% increase on the damage. 
For the hunter skill, you must go for Falcon Mastery by 10, Improve Concentration by 10, Beast Bane by 10. This tree is a must. This skill will increase your damage to brute, insect, and fist type of monster. I ignore the Blitz Beat and Electric Shock because I'm building the crit type and focus more on Focus Shot and Steel Crow to bring out the maximum potential for Crow damage. For the Sniper class, I will go for True Sight first until maximum because it will give bonus attack and crit damage for 15 seconds. Next skill is the Intimidation. This skill rely on Falcon where it will give additional damage and a chance to stun an enemies every time it is attacked. Okay. I think that's all for this hunter build video, I will update my build later once I reach the late game. If you like, please help me by like and subscribe the channel. See ya!